Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are on the free to play, the road to Ultra Nightmare, and not only do I have my coffee today, but I have a new cup. That's pretty cool, huh? So, I, I like this one a lot. It's a little bigger than the other one, holds a little bit more coffee. That definitely makes me feel good. And really nice, too. Um, yeah, so where are we? It's day 35 on the free to play. You saw it, you saw it before I exited it out. But you saw it, it's there, it's there, you know. Day 35 on the free to play, and we are in pretty good shape. Um, well, I mean, YSC kind of ripped my heart out of me yesterday. Um, I'm sure many of you saw that. Uh, if if you didn't, you know, just look look for that video. It's it was brutal. It was brutal. <laughs> um, he pulled everything a person could want. And I did not. Um, what was interesting about it though is I suppose we could talk about this first is I pulled Maruka, and Maruka is not good. She's just not good. Does that say she can't be used? Every champion has her usage in this game. But on the scale of, you know, good to bad, as far as epic champions go, she's like, like, really bad. Really, really bad. And so, I don't know how I'm gonna use her, but she is part of this fusion. I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I have enough Champions, you know, I have I have I think three of these timber lakes over here, these shadow bow timber lakes, um, that I could, you know, use for the fusion. Um, getting the epic means that's four rares I don't have to get. But I mean, honestly, I don't even know that it's worth it. It's I think this is such a mediocre legendary in this fusion. And especially mediocre for an account like mine that's brand new. She's not gonna change anything for me does have a buff extension and a heal, which would be really good for clan boss, to be fair. That's the one thing that is like, that would be that would be really nice, right? Increased resistance would be good if I wanna push some of the harder content too, right? We're talking sand devils, we're talking, um, you know, the blessings, twin, uh, the iron twins, right? Definitely would be useful for that. Um, could be useful for Hydra, although I think I, you know, there are some issues with that uh, potentially, so maybe not perfect, but still, Increased resistance buff would be good. The buff extension would be good. But I'm just like, I don't, I'm, I'm not excited by her, you know? I mean, all that stuff seems very, like, later on kind of thing. Like, if this was two months down the road or three months down the road, I'd be, yes, 100%. I think this would be a great opportunity here. Problem is, is that it's freaking hard to do all this stuff. Like, not only do you have to get, you know, whatever, 16 of those rare champions. I mean, in this case, it's still, I'm going to need another, what, 12 of them? The fuse three more of these epics. I have three already, so I'm still looking at getting nine more. That's nine more tournaments or events that I have to place well in, including the champion chase that comes up, or what is the summon rush or champion chase, whichever one's coming up next. I'm gonna have to do that because I didn't do the first one and I've already missed a couple of events. So, like, even getting Maruka, it's only really making up for the events I haven't done. I just don't have that much energy coming through, right? Like we're doing the spider tournament. I'm doing spider 10, man. It, 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 it's hard. It's hard. Like I'm struggling just to get this guy. I've been running all day for this, right? Um, That's that's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me, right? Uh, Classic arena is cool, but like I'm having a hard time finding opponents, right? Dragon tournament's the one that I'm like, this will be easy when it comes up. If it comes up, I don't know. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one that comes out. And of course, if you enjoyed today's music, we have that link down below in the pinned comment and description of this video, and you can use code DEADWOODJEDI, save yourself 15%. And of course, if you want some account work, you don't like doing the work yourself, I'm more than happy to do it for you. My team is at the beck and call. Just visit my website, deadwoodjedi.com. So anyway, point is, it's gonna be a real, it's gonna be a real, real kick in the, you know, and the you know what's to make this kind of a thing happen. And then on top of that, I have to level all of them up to 30. And then I have to rank all of them up and level them up to 40. Then fuse the epics from that and then level up and rank them. Plus I have to ascend all these champions. It's a lot. It's a lot. And to put in that much effort for, for you know, I mean, a legendary champion, great. But like, 
Oh man, it's just, it's a lot. It's just a lot and I'm not sure that I really want to do that. Um, actually, I know I don't want to do that. <laughs> the question is, is it worth it? And I just don't know. I mean, I mean, there's so many events that, yeah, it's a summon rush. I don't know. I, I don't even have any shards right now. So I was like, that's, that's tricky. You know, I don't know if a summon rush where anything's been available for like 350 points, because that's about how many mystery shards I have right now. A little dicey, a little dicey. Camping training, that may be the easiest one, and the dragon tournament may be easy, but the, and the dungeon diver, it's in conjunction with the dragon. So I could probably do those three, and the dungeon diver does have two. <laughs> that could still be pretty hard. Artifact enhancement events going to be a bit of a challenge, right? I only have so much silver. Ah. It, it's tough guys i just don't i do not feel very confident to be able to do two champion training events you know the points required are going to be super high anyway i just i think uh, this is just not realistic which is unfortunate really unfortunate because well it does kind of fit what i want for my clan boss team in a buff extender i feel like that would be really really good for me um you know and i and i know long term her and elva make a really fun pairing right there's a lot of healing in that a lot of speed you get all the right buffs uh, for your team. So I, I would love to get her. I just don't think it's going to be a reasonable thing for me to do right now. That's the unfortunate part. So that's kind of the big thing that's going on. I should point out that I did just get into gold four in arena, which is pretty cool, right? And the good thing about getting in gold four is you see more of those one man teams. So actually farming gold four becomes a reasonable alternative to do, right? Not like I can do a lot, but, you know, if I'm patient and I'm, you know, refreshing consistently, I should be able to continue to climb into gold four, probably even get into gold five, where it's going to be a very similar type of situation where I'm actually going to have the opportunity to climb and grow and build my team a little bit more. So I'm, I'm excited by that. Uh, that's a, kind of a huge bonus for me. So, you know, we're, we're making good progress all around. It's not just in clan boss, but of course, Clan boss is where we are doing the best right now, and that's really good um, because I finally, for the first time, finally, three keyed nightmare and one keyed brutal. Very exciting. So we can see what we got. We are taking down brutal every day, I think, right? So we got, okay, one weapon, a helmet, a little bit of gems, some potions, nothing big, nothing crazy. Obviously, all I care about are shards and books, really. Um, and, and then nightmare. Okay, well, didn't get anything great. Maybe we got a good chess piece. We did not. Okay, that's useless. Useless to us. Completely useless to us. So, not the best stuff, but we're getting some potions. We're getting some brews. Um, and we're getting some gems, too. It's a pretty easy way to get a few uh, gems every day by doing that. And so, that's that's pretty positive, I would say. So, I find, I'm finding that uh, our Nightmare team is actually pretty good. Uh, yesterday, I did... I think I talked about this with YST. I actually did a run with... Uh, Deacon, and then I substitute my level 50 Elhane in for her, and we did about the same amount of damage. So I feel like getting a buff extender in there, getting a real speed tune, a lot of really good potential with this. So I'm feeling good about where we are, and I'm feeling good about where we're headed as well. The other thing I did, which was really exciting, was I was able to finally beat Doom Tower on normal. I took down stage 120. And it was tough. I definitely needed all my champion six star to do it, but I was able to do it finally. And so that was a huge, huge accomplishment for me. Um, so now it's just more farming, farming mats. One of the things I've been doing is trying to uh, forge the Griffin stuff, the uh, ally protection uh, set. Let's, let's, let's try and remember what it's actually called, Jed. Uh, Guardian set. Yes, the Guardian set. It seems like this is something that I can benefit from, definitely. Especially because I have so much natural healing in my teams, being able to put Guardian set on one or two champions could really make a big difference as far as not needing a second ally protection champion, but being able to survive for a really, really long time. So ideally, if I can get a buff extender, I can put them in the Guardian set, and that'll keep my whole team up and at them. That would be really, really nice. Uh, another option would be somebody like Venomage might be a good choice for that too. Um, but, you know, I have those options kind of going forward. So that's, uh, that's a big thing that we've been doing so far is just you know that that same old same old grind trying to progress a little bit here and there uh great hall no real changes right we got spirit up to four magic up to five next thing is to get them all to five i do have some missions coming up too right clearing stage 10 on dragon is going to be helpful for us 
And then we can start kind of pushing some of these other uh, missions and such as they go through. So I need to keep an eye on that. That is going to be a really good way for me to get some more resources. There are things, you know, obviously there's some potions in there, some gems in there, um, some silver and stuff, energy, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, but also there's going to be at the very end of it, there are some uh, shards or books. Books? I think it's Lego books, right? There's definitely some shards along the way. There's some books along the way. And then at the very end, yes, there are two legendary tomes there, which I desperately need because I want Elva. Uh, and then, of course, after that, you know, Arbiter will be available. Now, the other thing I did get, even though I pulled crash shards with YST, I did get all the champions, finally. Finally got all the champions for the Broadmaw fusion. And that's actually pretty big for me. So I'm actually really excited about that. Um, I guess it's a summon rush that's coming up next, unfortunately, right? So I don't think that's actually going to be doing anything for us. But um, one of the things is I probably want to hold on to that. So yes, we got we got Huntress here. We got him. I can fuse these four champions to get ourselves a Rock Beast. Then I just have to level them up. They only need to be three star level 30, right? So that's really good for us. Um, even though I took him to four star, that's fine. It's fine. It's not important. Um, but she's all set, right? So I have all the champions to get Broadma. I think I want to wait for an event, to do it properly. Um, but Broadma is a really good epic champion. One of the best revivers actually in the game. Now they've revamped the kit and he's very, very good. Uh, so that is somebody I do want to get up at some point here. Um, I don't have to do it right now, but at some point, this is the goal. So Right now, I'm just farming spider, trying to get more silver. I'm still looking for some more banners. Um, I did get a good one, actually, for El for Elva. I uh, added a little bit more speed. So yet again, we are fast as can be. We're at 163 speed now. Um, but you can see this defensive banner with the speed substat. I was like, that's going to be perfect for us right now. Um, and so we can see 263. I swapped out uh, some speed on our love for some more defense. And now she's in a pretty tanky spot here with really good speed so i'm very happy with where we have her at um can definitely rank up some of the gear that she does have on but i'm very happy with where she's at um still waiting for my accuracy banner for uh ronda we'll probably end up losing some speed when we put that on but that's fine she's already really really fast so that's not a big deal and venom age has um I'm, I'm shocked i was able to do this but actually has 230 accuracy this is ultra nightmare level accuracy um, at 180 speed, like this is almost an ultra nightmare build already. We just need to get that defense and that HP up a little bit more. And I'm actually going to feel really, really confident about that. But we were able to put a defensive banner on. We we're able to put, you know, defensive ring, defensive amulet. So I'm able to rank those up, not to mention the helmet. There's still only four stars. Has speed and accuracy, but it's only four stars. The shield, which is only four, four stars. So I definitely have some room to improve this build, but I, I feel pretty happy with that. Jar Reg is like two, like 54,000 HP is pretty good. Um, and we don't have a banner on him either. Um, and I might give up since we're keeping Jar Venom Mage in. I might give up on the accuracy of Jar Reg. I don't know. We need, need, need it. So if that's the case, I could actually put like an HP banner on or a defensive banner on, bump his stats that way. And uh, that could really help our survivability as well. So there's lots of. Lots of kind of stuff with the gearing that I'm really excited about. I'm really excited for this dragon tournament when it comes. Actually kind of excited to hopefully pull some decent stuff in this Fire Knight tournament or in the spider tournament that we're in right now. Um, because this is where we're at. We're at the grind stage. I need to get more gear. I need to get better stuff. That's that's what I need. Uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty fun to do. Um, and then also, you know, there's this uh there is a uh thing going on with raid. I want to say it's the love quest thing. Let's see if we can put it on here. Yeah, love quest thing. I, I think it's only available in the US, but uh, you know, I did it for my free to play. If you start a new account after January 1st, you can do this. I think you have to be in the US to do this, which is unfortunate, but um, you put an email and then in seven days, we should be able to get a reward from them, which is pretty cool. I don't know what kind of reward it's going to be. It might be absolutely nothing. Could be complete trash, all I'm saying, but if it's not, that'd be great, right? Add a little bit more something to the account. Uh, always a good thing. So this is kind of what we're, this is what we're about right now. You know, it's the grind and uh, trying to get to that next level. Now, one of the things I have been able to do with spiders is actually I'm grinding, so I'm still grinding stage 10, but I'm grinding some food with it. And that's been pretty good. I'm able to level some of these champions up as we go along. And yes, I am 
leveling up my tier bow, my, no, my Tim Tebow, you know, Sherlock's over here. Um, I'm never gonna get their names right. Uh, but I'm definitely late, late, you know, ranking them up, leveling them up. The worst they're gonna be food, at the best they're gonna be good for faction wars when that opens. Or maybe even I will end up doing the fusion. I, I just, I don't think I have the commitment to do it. Honestly, it's one of those things you do need commitment in order to complete. I don't think I have that commitment, guys. I don't think I do. But we'll see because, you know, we've got my free to play, uh, whatever the, the, uh, the reference accounts are really close to getting to 50, a couple of them. That's going to be a couple of sacred shards. Uh, another one just beat past level 40. So we've got our, all our epic book, books from that, which has been phenomenal. So there are some things that are like kind of working in our favor to, you know, potentially be able to do it. And we're taking down nightmare clan boss, which means nightmare and brutal means we should have better chance of getting like sacred shards or epic shards and if we get really lucky and get a couple of those that might be enough to actually do the summon rush which i think is probably the biggest hurdle of doing the fusion it's all a huge hurdle honestly i'm just like oh it takes so much to do it uh i don't miss doing that um yeah we're probably not gonna do it I just tempted. I like, I want to, I want to do it so I can tell you guys, Hey, I was able to do it. And I only played for 30 days, but I'm not going to do it. It doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound enjoyable at this point of the account's life to do that fusion. And the champion definitely doesn't sound like somebody worth going through all that trouble and heartache to make happen. So, so we're not going to make that happen. Mm. But yeah, we got some fun stuff going on here, guys. Definitely doing some uh, fun behind the scenes stuff with the website, trying to, you know, keep that updated and uh, all the new champions are in. So if you were wondering about somebody, they should all be in there and able to play around with. Um, but yeah, that's what we got going on. Not, not a whole lot happening at the moment, kind of preparing for the next stages. I'm really excited to start actually pushing Ultra Nightmare. That's kind of my, my next, um, we're, we're close. We're close to that. So, yep. Uh, Still waiting for that banner for Rhonda. When we get that, Ultra Nightmare is going down. Definitely going down. God, I can't believe YC got all that stuff. Ugh, caps my hide, let me tell you. It's all right. You know, as I say, when we pull shards, pay the taxes now, get the rewards later. So hopefully we'll get the rewards later. You know what? Let's let's get the rewards. Let's get the rewards right now. Let's just let's just do it. It's a YOLO account. We're just gonna Okay, yeah. Ooh. I do like me and Abyssal. I do like me and Abyssal. Okay, well, that's not a bad pull. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a fun way to end the this, this session, right? May not be an outstanding champion, but he's going to be a fun one. I'm happy to get him. So, guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, we're going to be back again tomorrow. So, until next we meet, the Deadwood Jedi.